got my Earl of Sandwich right here. I just stopped by to get it. I'm recording an episode of Mealtime at Disneyland, but I'm eating this at home because you guys have already seen the Earl Sandwich plenty of times. So I did record some of the restaurants. So yeah, don't worry. You will see it in the video, but I'm going to eat the sandwich at home. A little different twist on Mealtime at Disneyland. What did you say? This pin says, I'm not grumpy. I'm just surrounded by people who are too happy. <laughs> Davy Crockett, King of the Well Frontier. Of course, my family knew Fess Parker, the actor who portrayed Davy Crockett in the TV series and the movies, King of the Well Frontier and the River Pirates. Good old Fess Parker. Wow. These are unbelievable. I used to have some of these plants at home. plants here, I must admit. You got all these banners leading up to Disney California Adventure that say Hero Up for Summer of Heroes and Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout. Now it's time to get a coffee for the long drive home. Alright, got it. Now it's time to go home. Oh, very cool. I reached the Caribbean. Big skull there. Rats, I missed it. <laughs> but here's the fountain right here. Oh, here we go. One last time. And then this will go down. Very cool. Once again, Disney California Adventure over there with Summer of Heroes. Off the distance, you can see Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout. And then over here we got Disneyland with a very empty Main Street USA station. But when I come back in August, it should be back up and running. That will be fun. Yep, I'm going to be cranking up the tunes on the way home with Groot. These seats over here have Mickey Mouse heads. Are they considered hidden Mickeys? See you Disneyland. Exit. Alright folks, we're heading home. See you at the house. Well, 24 hours later, I am back home. <laughs> no, this is no joke. When I got home, I meant to record the ending to this video, but I literally, once I walked through the door, I put all my stuff down, I purchased my sandwich, as you all know from Earl's Sandwich, I put it in the fridge, and then I just collapsed on the bed. I didn't wake up till like around 8 to eat dinner. I didn't eat the sandwich. I just ate the sandwich. I recorded the rest of Mealtime Disneyland here in the bedroom. But yes, it's been 24 hours since I crashed here on the bed. Not not the car, I mean. I meant myself, personally, because I was just completely exhausted. My cat, Simon, obviously was glad to see me because apparently last night he was in my room complaining about why I wasn't here. He was whining and fussing. Yeah, 2.30 in the morning. So that's not something he would normally do. The place that I stayed at was called Castle Inn and Suites. It's literally like right across from Disney California Adventure. Not too far from where you see the Guardians of the Galaxy attraction from Harbor Boulevard. It's just a little ways down. And it's like it's literally like a couple blocks down from where you walk across to Disneyland. And it's a great place. If you guys want to sleep in a castle, there you go. <laughs> As you saw in my video, it looked pretty cool. So if you want to get a good hotel room that's less expensive than, say, Disney, I mean, don't get me wrong, being able to stay at the Disneyland Resort is actually a lot of fun in the hotels. But if you're looking for something that's a little bit cheaper, try out Castle Inn and Suites and tell them I sent you. And maybe they'll see this video and I'll be like, hey, how's it going? Remember me? <laughs> All right, so here's the merchandise. Here we go. Now, I know this isn't really merchandise, but in a way, in my opinion, it is because it is the park map. And yes, this is the one with Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout with Rocket Raccoon and Groot. And since everybody's done this before, I guess I can show you. There it is. Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout right there. So as you can see here, we have not one, not two, but seven pins. I know, I show six here, but there's actually seven. The seventh one is in here. What's in here? I will show you that in a second. This is Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales, 
Of course, this is the skeleton that's on top of all the treasure. And I got this one because it said Dead Men Tell Tales because obviously that's a reference to Pirates of the Caribbean, not just the ride, but also the new movie that's come out. And speaking of Dead Men Tell Tales, the movie, here is a gold-plated Dead Men Tell Tales limited release pin. This one right here, I have been to the Grand California Hotel and Spa, but this is a very nice looking pin right here. It looks kind of like, uh, like one of those special painted windows they have there in their hotel so that's the grand california hotel and spa i thought that was kind of a nice one right there here's the next one i got this is kind of a step up from the one i got from before this is the california adventure pin and as you can see it's got the mickey's fun wheel california screaming toy story midway mania and this one i didn't think would be on here but yes it's got silly symphony swings on there so no longer does it have any reference to the original california adventure or anything it's just the new updated version if you guys know what i'm talking about i have the pin over here for the disneyland monorail which still has the golden gate bridge they still sell these with the golden gate bridge which is hilarious but still <laughs> it's a remnant of the old california adventure but with this new pin obviously they have taken out any references of the old california adventure so i mentioned that i got a princess pin and of course this is cinderella and I got this one because it's a character pin. Looks nice. Unfortunately, this is the newer version of Cinderella, the character, like when they updated her. So it's okay, but I really would have liked to have seen the original version instead of the new one. But, you know, it's okay. It's nice and sparkly, too. You probably say to yourself, well, is that the only Cinderella pin I've got? Nope, I also have her glass slipper right there. And on the Cinderella Coach popcorn bucket, I have the Cinderella Coach pin, which is right here. I've separated it from the other ones for no particular reason. I just thought it looked better on this here. So I have her glass slipper and her coach as pins, and then now I have her as a pin. Now, that's not the only female pin I have. I, as you all know, I have Tinkerbell here with her little jar of pixie dust. Well, I decided to get... A character pin of Tinkerbell again, only this time it's just herself without her little jar of pixie dust. But still, it's a cute pin. Okay, now, the major question is, what is in here? Why is this pin so nicely packaged like a Christmas present? Well, I purchased this on Wednesday during the evening hours. As far as I knew, this pin was very limited in terms of how many they made. And it was also a very special one. And I also looked at all the other different shops, and they had already sold out of these, like everywhere in Disneyland, including downtown Disney. But the Emporium still had a few of these, and when I went back the next day to find out they still had any more, they were gone. So I was glad to have gotten this on Wednesday. So this pin, I saw Paparazzi Mike with this, and I was like, ooh, that's a pin I would love to have in my collection. As you all know, one of my favorite Disney movies besides Dumbo is Alice in Wonderland. And here it is, folks. Alice in Wonderland. Doors to Disney, and she moves around a little bit here on the side, as you can see, and there's a little leaf here that actually opens up, and we open it up. What does it have? <laughs> it has the Manhattan in the tea. Won't you join me to fill some tea? I do not know if they'll make more of these, but obviously this is a limited edition pin, so I'm pretty sure they will have other character pins like this. Maybe they might have one for Snow White for the, the Queen. And this was not cheap, guys. Let me just say you saw the price there. But I got it on a discount because I have my annual pass. <laughs> now, some of this other stuff you've already seen in my videos. Here are my monorail socks. Yes, I actually saw these <laughs> a while back in a previous video from a friend of mine. And I thought those were kind of cool looking socks. So as you can see, instead of the Mark 7 monorail, they are <laughs> still referencing the Mark 5 monorail. This is Mark 5 red and the Mark 5 blue. And I liked the fact that it's... One sock red and one sock blue, which is pretty cool. I believe they also had a different monorail color. Actually, I think they have four Mark V monorails, but now we only have three because one is red, one's blue, and one's orange. I'm talking about the Mark VII monorail now. This, my friends, is the highly coveted and highly requested and highly awesome <laughs> souvenir cup you can find at Disneyland right now. It is the Pirates of the Caribbean 50th Anniversary Stein. And I already mentioned about this in my episode of Meal Time Disneyland when I was at the French Market. If you guys want to see that video, check out the iCard annotation. just popped up on the right corner of the screen. Top right corner of the screen, excuse me. And yes, it is a highly coveted piece of souvenir cup. I guess Disney history, really. It's really, really cool. It kind of reminds me of the 60th anniversary Stein, which I have up here. I think it's actually a little bigger than the other one. Oh, wow. There is a little bit of a size difference, I can tell you right off the bat. Um, this seems a little bit skinnier 
than this one. This one looks a little bit bigger. I wouldn't say fatter, but a little bit bigger. And as you see, it has pictures here just like this one. But obviously, instead of the castle, they replaced it with the pirate captain or the skeleton captain from the ride. And this says 60th anniversary of Disneyland 60, Pirates of the Caribbean. This doesn't actually say 50th anniversary, but they released it during the 50th anniversary of Pirates of the Caribbean. But yes, <laughs> this is so cool. I am Groot. That's right, I got the I am Groot souvenir cup from Guardians of the Galaxy. I actually got this from the studio catering company. A size comparison, yes. I would say that you would get half a cup of what you would normally get from a regular size cup. So not a whole lot to drink from. I especially needed something a little bit bigger because I got really spicy nachos. So the soda helped a little bit, but it would have been nicer if I actually had a little bit of a bigger cup. But yes, that is a little bit smaller than normal. And, you know, it's Groot. So we have mini Groot there. And then we got big Groot here. This is the Groot action figure that you can get at Disney California Adventure right now. He's actually an exclusive figure that they're selling at their Marvel stores. I specifically got Groot because, you know, he's Groot. <laughs> I can't forget about these guys. These are the new droids that I got from not Star Tours or from the Star Wars store or the Starcade, but I got these from Disney California Adventure. And let me just remember what their names are. Hold on a second. So this guy's name is R5013. This guy's name is R5S9. This is another R5 unit. This is R5P8. He's got a nice looking pistol right there. Kind of looks like Han Solo's. And then this one, am I holding the right way? No, there we go. This one right here is R2C2. Just one letter away from R2D2. And drinks anybody? <laughs> this one actually serves drinks. I'll have mine on the rocks, please. Well, guys, that was an adventure, I must say. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys liked these last several vlogs, please be sure to hit the thumbs up button. It's greatly appreciated. Don't forget, I also have new episodes of Mealtime at Disneyland already up on the playlist for Mealtime at Disneyland, so if you guys want to check those out, check out my videos on my channel. Also, check out my other vlogs, my reviews, my special events, and, of course, my Disneyland at Home series. And if you want to, follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter, even LinkedIn for updates as to when I'll be uploading new videos onto YouTube or if I'm going to Disneyland anytime soon during the month of during this whole summertime like July and August I probably will be back because I got blackout dates so sorry I won't be able to make it back also I have a PO box if you guys want to see your art right here on my sh on my display if I have to remove some of these I will but if you guys have art you like to have displayed up here or you just want to send me a letter, I have a P.O. Box address down below in the description of this video. Oh, wait, I almost forgot. I have three other channels, the Educational Series, the Vlog Series, and the Travel Town Series. Be sure to check out those channels and subscribe to them. And if you want, please subscribe to this channel for more Disneyland fun. And that's pretty much it. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time here on the Disneyland Video Series. Bye! I am Groot! Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel for more Disneyland fun. Check out the playlist provided on the Insulate. Be sure to check out my other channels. And don't forget to follow my Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and Facebook.